Hello and welcome to People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of November 11th, 2020. Well, I have some interesting news for you. I got uh, Chuck Schumer's uh, response to Mitch McConnell's stimulus idea, which I will get into as well as in this video. So, on that note, let's hop into this. Apparently now, Mitch McConnell is now the Senate Majority Lead when it comes to stimulus package negotiations. This is because Trump and his administration are long, no longer motiva motivated to pass a stimulus package anytime soon, since they are no longer going to have a job at the end of the year. And funny thing is, is Trump should know how hard that the current, our economy's been hit because he's had 2020, the experience of 2020 firsthand. He's gotten COVID, he's lost his job, and now he's in the process of being evicted. So now he's had the full 2020 experience. Isn't that nice? We're just such a great people, aren't we? <laughs> I still think it's sort of funny, though. <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to be an ass or anything like that, but I still think it's sort of funny that, that that is the defined moment of the 2020 experience is those three things. And he got them all. And now he's crying like a baby blockading himself inside the White House, inside the old office in the White House. <clears throat> We will also cover the um, what Joe Biden wants in his stimulus package. The Senate says that the stimulus package and is job number one and is a top priority. Today, the Supreme Court is hearing testimony whether Obamacare is constitutional or not. Trump refuses to accept his election results. Basically, he doesn't want to be a loser. When the Trump administration was asked, why don't they concede? They basically replied and said that that word is not in their vocabulary. Isn't that nice? They don't know the word conceit is a good word to have in your vocabulary. And in Denmark, scientists found a new strain of COVID-19 from a mink farm that mutated and spread to humans. The new strain may be more resilient to antibodies and this would be very problematic for future vaccines. So. We're not looking too good on that front, are we? But we'll care more about that whole vaccine and mink farm here a bit later in the process, if you stick with me, please. So right now we're going to cover, we're going to review basically what Joe Biden wants in his next stimulus package. And I think you guys will like this one because if he gets his stimulus package, it's going to help out a lot of people. Okay. First, he wants to extend unemployment or the PUA for $600 a week for however long this crisis lasts. Those are his own words, for however long this crisis lasts. He also wants to issue a second stimulus check. He wants to forgive up to $10,000 in student loan debt from uh, from borrowers, but the Senator, uh, one of the Democrats, I forget what her name is, basically wants to take up to $50,000 for forgiveness of student loan debt. Uh, he wants to, a pay raise for all essential employees so that's actually really good because for all essential employees, that means for everyone that has the paperwork that says, hey, I'm a central worker. I'm actually sort of immune from being stuck at my house. I actually have to go to work. And so that's actually pretty good. He wants uh, sick leave for all employees, including part-timers as well as independent contractors. So there's a good plus. He is, uh, he wants the banning of evictions and foreclosures for as long as the pandemic lasts. Free testing, treatment, and vaccine for all. He wants the federal government to pay for up to 100% of the cost of insurance for people who lost their jobs, as well as a second round of PPP money. And more funding for state and local governments. However, Joe Biden is not quite in office yet until January 20th, 2021. Mitch McConnell will be basically now the leader of the whole Republican Party as far as the stimulus packages go. And basically because Trump and his administration decided to sit this one out. The Republicans and Democrats have fought yesterday over the size of the stimulus package. McConnell is in charge of the Republicans and is in charge and the Republicans are saying that they only want to spend five hundred billion dollars on the stimulus package. The Democrats, on the other hand, say that they want $2.4 trillion. 
And in fact, I got a clip from Mitch McConnell, not Mitch McConnell, sorry, Chuck Schumer, the leader of the Democrats in the of the Senate, the minority lead, and his nice world words on that. And here you go. I'll be right back. This Republican majority has proposed totally inadequate solutions. As the disease surges across our country once again, there is no time for inadequate solutions. I hope now that the election is behind us, our colleagues come are ready to come together in a search for an adequate bipartisan solution rather than the partisan stunt voting legislating we've suffered for the past few months. And in political news, um, basically the Supreme Court is hearing arguments over the Obamacare, whether it is constitutional or not. And if the Affordable Care Act is ruled that is non-constitutional no more, then more than 20 million Americans can lose their only form of health insurance. And as Plus, also, Trump is also refusing to sign the paperwork that allows the transition for Biden to become the president. So, Trump is basically being a baby. Isn't that nice of him? And in more serious news, in COVID-19 news, basically, we have in Denmark, where the new strain of COVID-19 came out from a mink farm that spread to humans. This is basically a new mutated strain of COVID-19. The Prime Minister of Denmark basically ordered the whole slaughter of 15, 000, sorry, 15 million minks, but unfortunately the outcries of the, of the civilians, of the community around them, halted that execution, so the minks are still alive. In the United States, we reported 119,400 and, sorry, 944 new cases of COVID-19 with 472 deaths. And that was basically on yesterday's report uh, for Monday for the, the deaths and the new cases. We haven't got new cases for today yet until we get until tomorrow. So I'll let you know about those tomorrow as well. If I spoke too quick for you, please let me know and I will try to slow myself down. But until next time, I hope you guys stay safe. You at least try to get some food in your stomachs if you can. Stay warm because the weather is not being nice. I mean, it is ice cold outside and snowy here. Because I live in Utah. Isn't that funny? I live in a desert that snows. What a world, right? <laughs> it's been like that for a while. <laughs> but like I said, you guys have a, a wonderful Tuesday. A safe night. And remember, we're all in this together because basically it's all we got. As you, tell, you can tell from my report, the Congress and the Senate is just paint playing a bunch of games with each other so stay strong and stay out there and survive have a wonderful night Bye.